Mental health care workers at Kaiser say they've had enough. Clinicians are leaving due to a variety of issues. About 2,000 counselors, psychologists and staff going on strike around the state after negotiations between the union and Kaiser Permanente stalled. My patients get very upset when they can't get their children mental health care needed as soon as possible. Beyond an increase in wages, the union says it's fighting for what they call a comprehensive settlement that would increase staffing and consequently reduce patient wait times. People will not stay just for the money and the benefits. We need a model of care that serves our patients and that we can feel ethically good about. Kaiser Permanente denied our request for an interview and instead provided a video statement to the media. We are outraged that the union is moving forward with this strike. KP argues they too are challenged by the skyrocketing demand for mental health care, saying they've hired nearly 200 new mental health clinicians to keep up and offered additional time for administrative duties. Make no mistake, this strike is not about access to care as the union claims. The union's proposal to reduce time directly seeing patients comes at a time when we are faced with a 30% increase in demand for mental health care. Caught in the middle are patients. We spoke with one woman last night whose appointment was canceled. Now she worries she'll have to go out of pocket to see someone else. I mean, people still need help. Just because the therapists are out, their managers are still working. And the managers are clinicians too. I mean, why aren't they thinking about scheduling, you know, covering appointments. Kaiser says patients will still receive care during the strike from clinicians who chose to keep working. <laughs> but the strike is open-ended, adding to patient uncertainty. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.